It's about 4.30 in the morning and I'm in Kikinda in northern Serbia and as you can see around me just had a little bit of snow overnight this is absolutely stunning but hopefully enough snow is going to make a difference to these images so anytime I think in the next hour the owls are going to start returning they're going to start coming back to the roost I've just seen, I've just seen one fly over now they're going to come back to the roost and they're going to settle for the day It's the middle of December and I'm here to photograph wildlife in Vojvodina in northern Serbia. The main reason I'm here is to photograph long-eared owls. Every winter huge numbers of owls come to roost in the towns and villages across northern Serbia and this is one of the main hotspots for the long-eared owls, sometimes getting quite a few hundred over the winter. So there's a number of reasons why the owls gather in these places. First of all, there's some really good trees for them to roost. They tend to have good tall pine trees that's a good place to roost in the day. Also the surrounding buildings helps keep them sheltered from the weather as well. And no doubt the warmth is really important too. Obviously being out in the countryside is going to be much colder, but here in a, if you're in a small town or a village, you're going to get a lot more heat as well. So it's easier to conserve energy. The location of the owls can actually be quite obvious because they leave such obvious signs like this. So basically if you look above here you're going to find some owls. Now I don't just want to get pictures of the owls perched on branches in, in the daylight. I want to get something really different, something unique. I want to capture the owls at twilight when they're getting ready to go out to hunt. It's nearly four o'clock, the sun's just going down, the sky's actually really clear so it's going to be perfect conditions for the shots I'm after. So now basically it's just a case of waiting for the street lights to come on. got the street lights on which are illuminating the owls so there's no other light just the just the artificial light so I'm basically whoa owl just flew over my head so I'm trying to get shots of the owls it's sort of in this twilight period there's a little bit of color in the sky you get this really interesting golden glow quite unusual really windy at the moment. Some of the owls have actually started dropping down lower to get out of the wind. There's a few that don't like to come too close to you. It's really really difficult to get sharp images. I don't think you can do it with a camera on a, on a tripod head like on a gimbal. So this is the only technique I found that works for me. I've got the 500mm lens. I've actually got an extender on at the moment as well, 1.4. What works for me, I take the head off the tripod and I actually put a beanbag on top of the tripod. So slap the beanbag on there, camera lens on top and then with good technique you can kind of use your left hand to push the lens slightly in, push your eye up to the viewfinder, it helps brace it and you can, it, it's rock solid and you can get really really low shutter speeds. So I've shot images down to one tenth of a second, they've been sharp enough. My ISO is up at 10,000, I've got a 1.4 extender on with the 500mm lens so that's reduced the aperture to 5.6 so that's the widest aperture I can use I would never usually do that but I need all the light I can get so I'm using f5.6 I'm sticking with that and my shutter speed at the moment is about 40th of a second I managed to get some really nice shots So what I'm trying to do is virtually impossible, <coughs> but I'm trying it anyway. I'm trying to get a shot of the owls as they come back into roost. I don't want to use any flash, I want to do it with just the available light. So this area's got lights lighting up the church and it also lights up the trees as well where they're roosting. So I so said I don't want to use flash, so basically very high ISO. I've got the ISO at 10,000, this is the only way I can do it. I've got the ISO at 10,000, I've got an aperture of about 2.2 .2. 
and that's basically to get the shutter speed as fast as I can. Not only am I trying to shoot owls virtually in the dark, I'm trying to shoot them in flight, so it is nearly impossible. I can't get a shutter speed as fast as I need really, but I can get close. So I'm trying to get about 2 50th of a second. I'm shooting with a 50mm lens, so it means that because the owl's going to be quite small in the frame, the movement's going to be less. If I try and shoot this with a bigger lens, there's just no way I'll get anywhere close because the movement will be too much. The further away you are, the less the movement's going to record on the camera. So 50mm lens, ISO 10,000, f2.2, shooting about 2 50th of a second. And I'm getting close. First time I tried this, I tried it handheld because I wanted to be able to react quickly for when the owls flew in. Focus is really difficult. I've been trying manual focus and autofocus. What I've decided to do this time is to put the camera on the ball head. So this is just basically acting as a bit of support so I don't have to keep holding the camera. It also makes it a bit easier to focus. So I've basically loosened off the ball head completely and when an owl flies in, I can just quickly move the camera to frame it, uh, but it's still difficult. I'm beginning to think the shot might actually be possible. This is the closest I've got so far this morning. Not bad at all. Got the trees there which are nicely lit uh, about half an hour before sunrise. So just starting to get a little bit of colour kind of in that twilight phase. But really lovely light on the on the trees and on the owl. Everything looks good. Um, unfortunately the owl's just not quite sharp. Which is not really a surprise. So this is what a wildlife photographer's place tends to look like. It's just stuff everywhere. Crazy. What am I doing? <laughs>